Hello and welcome to my world of conscious, frugal living. That's right, I'm a cheapskate. I make no bones about it, and I'm trying to make you into a cheapskate too. Check with me and let's both make the dollar holla. In this show, I'm going to tell you how I make a Starbucks cup of coffee almost have a bottomless end to it. And it's a little secret that I use when I go to Starbucks because I go to Starbucks to surf lots of times because they have good internet. No, this is not a commercial for Starbucks. No, it's not. But Starbucks is a nice, comfortable, classy place where I happen to go to get on the internet because I'm too cheap to surf on the internet so and and buy the internet at home so I go to different places and go surf Starbucks is just one of them I'm gonna probably start giving reviews of a lot of places to go surf on the internet as time goes on so that you can get the ins and outs on how to go to these places suck up their internet and be cheap and enjoy yourself at the same time but Starbucks, as everybody knows, Starbucks is a very pricey place. They have great coffee, great snacks, but they're a little bit on the pricey side. You can't get stuff for free in Starbucks except for the Internet. And a lot of people do come in to go on the Internet and go there to have meetings and talk and blah, 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 that type of stuff. But what I generally do at Starbucks, I don't go by their big expensive mixture of coffees I get their cheapest coffee it's just coffee coffee not such and such cream latte coffee and all that because latte all latte is is coffee with cream in it so I just get basically black coffee it lasts longer and I get a medium sized one and you know the little side around the corner there where you have the bar where you can put the cinnamon and the this and the that and the half and half and the cream and all that kind of stuff in I generally make my latte and every time I drink it down, I go back and put more cream in it and more cream so that my level of my coffee goes down and up and down and up till eventually the concentration of coffee dissipates to a point where I have mostly a cup of cream. Of course, I use up the canister of half and half while I'm in there, but hey, I'm not going to buy another cup of that expensive coffee. I spent my little two or three bucks in there. And I've sat in there for a number of hours surfing the net, drinking coffee, so I wasn't a deadbeat. But this is what cheap skates do. And I enjoy good quality surroundings, which Starbucks has. And they have big, cozy, comfortable, big booty chairs that you can sit in and surf. And one great thing about Starbucks is they have plug-in outlets. For those of us who are cheap, who burn out the battery in our laptops and our tablets and stuff, or you can plug in and operate off a of wall currents. You notice how you go to most free internet places and they don't have plug in places? What are they thinking about? I need to have a place where I can plug in because when I go suck up somebody's free internet, I'm there for the duration. I go in there and sometimes I'm in for hours depending on where you go. Some places are cool about it. Other places, well, eh, they want you to eat and get out. So, I kill two birds with one stroke. I'm in there for as long as I want, and I'm sipping coffee and refilling cream and displacing cream or coffee with cream for hours. And uh, well, Starbucks doesn't stay open all night. At least the one that I go to doesn't. But I'm in there long enough to get done what I have to do. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I might do a video from a Starbucks when I get near one, just to show you my technique in real time but this is just a quickie quickie cheapy cheapskate tip on how to make that expensive and delicious Starbucks coffee go a long way also you might get lucky and get a sample for a snack or you might get a uh, catch a sale on a snack ain't too many sales going on the Starbucks but you never know cheapskates always look out for bargains well, if you think that this has helped you 
on your next trip to Starbucks and you think it's increased your knowledge about having a better quality of life because if you're going to go cheap at least go high end while you're paying no money remember now to like and share this video and also as I've asked in all of my videos up at the top there where you see the web page listing the HTTP colon double slash and a whole bunch of other stuff there highlight it and right click and copy and paste it to your Facebook Instagram Twitter LinkedIn and any other type of social media thing that you happen to be affiliated with and say hey I got an endless cup of coffee or I got a bottomless cup of coffee at Starbucks check this out you can find out how to too that'll take them back to me I can spread the wealth to them everybody wins Starbucks can get a customer well at least for one cup of coffee and a lot of cream and uh, they can go in and surf in a nice place with good internet and have a good time it's called having a good frugal evening and it could be productive if you have something to do at the net and you're not paying for internet access at the house internet access is expensive these days and you might as well be comfortable and in a classy place while you're being cheap thanks for listening and check back soon for other little helpful hints on how to make that dollar holler see you next time